undervalue the first term of an arithmetic sequence whose common difference is 4 and a sub 10 is 29. So I know there's a lot of stuff written down in this problem already, but what if we start this way? The common difference is 4. And a sub 10 is 29. And once again, what that means is this is a sub n. And consequently, that means that n is 10. And what I should have written down first is it says find the value of the first term. We need to figure out what that first term is. So once again, we're going to use the top equation here. I'm going to fill that in. The a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. When we fill it in, a sub n is the a sub 10. It's 29 equals, we don't know what a sub 1 is, plus n minus 1 times d is 4. And then we're going to simplify this. 29 equals a sub 1 plus 9 times 4. Well, 9 times 4 is 36. So 29 equals a sub 1 plus 36. And we can subtract 36 from both sides. And once we do, we figure out what the value of a sub 1 is. And 29 minus 36 is negative 7. Number 8. Given an arithmetic sequence in which a sub 1 is 8, a sub 5 equals negative 12, and a sub n equals negative 197. What is n? Well, a couple things here that we can point out. Let's first use the a sub 1 equals 8, and the a sub 5 equals negative 12. And let's use that to figure out what our common difference is. If we do use that, then once again, this is a sub n. That means that n equals 5. When we use our first formula here, we're filling it in. Negative 12, there's our a sub n, equals a sub 1, there's the a, plus 10, 5 minus 1, times b. We're trying to figure out what the common difference is. And then we can figure out what the value of n is. Well, if we simplify a little bit, we get negative 12 equals 8 plus 5 minus 1 is 4 b. And we're going to subtract 8 from both sides. And we get negative 20 equals 4 b. And divide both sides by 4. So our common difference is now that we know that, we can try to squeeze it in right here. We need to figure out what the value of n is. Still going to be using the same formula, but I need to change the parameters a little bit. Um, our a sub 1 is still 8. And our a sub n is negative 197. Our common difference we just found is negative 5. And we're going to use this information. I don't need to use the a sub 5 now to figure out the rest. Same formula, our first formula here. And that is a sub x, negative 197, equals a sub 1, which is 8, plus n minus 1 times b which is negative 5. And we want to solve this equation. So we have negative 197 equals 8 plus negative 5 times n is negative 5n. Negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5. We can combine like terms. 8 plus 5 here. We get negative 197 equals 13 
minus 5n. Notice plus a negative 5n is just minus 5n. If we subtract 13 from both sides, then we get negative um, Sorry, how about negative 210 equals negative 5n. And finally, when we divide both sides by negative 5, you can type that in your calculator. We're going to get our answer to this problem, which is 10 equals 42.